Oh, it's a double base kind of day. A lot of requests to do this one. Weller Antique 107 versus the Old Elk Double Wheat. Both are wheaters, both 107 proof. Who wins? Let's find out in the match and drum. It's double base. What's up, folks? I'm Jason C. from the Master and Drum. Welcome back to the show. Double Bass is the series where I take two whiskeys and put them head-to-head -to, -head to see which one comes out on top. This matchup has been requested multiple times. The time is today, but before we start, let's make a bourbon cocktail with today's sponsor, Shaker and Spoon. Oh, Shaker and Spoon sent me a new box. It's called Bring On The Bourbon. It's bourbon cocktail time. All right, so Shaker and Spoon is an amazing subscription service that I've been talking about for you know a couple months. It teaches you to make bar quality cocktails from recipes designed by award-winning mixologists. Maybe you're looking at this and saying, oh, that looks kind of complicated. Well, luckily in the box, you get all these recipe cards that guide you through mixing, garnishing each cocktail, step-by-step -step in great detail, including the glassware you need, uh, different methods you're gonna be using, and even a glossary that explains any unfamiliar bartending terms. Anyone can make one of these high-end cocktails. I'm gonna make today something called the Choco Facto. So this is kind of like this chocolate bourbon coffee type cocktail. Let's do it. So I already have my bourbon in the shaker. It's time to add my chocolate syrup, which is right here. Pour that in. Then it says add three dashes of coffee bitters. That's right, all the coffee. One. Now I just gotta shake it a bit. Strain it into my glass. And then add these chili threads on top for like an extra added little touch. Look at that, it's gorgeous. Everybody needs to drink that right now. Chocolate, coffee, bourbon, three of my favorite things in one glass. All right, so I know you want this. So to recap, Shaker and Spoon is a monthly cocktail subscription service that will deliver these craft cocktails to you. Each box has three recipes with enough ingredients for 12 total cocktails, four from each recipe. Click the link below in the description and use the code MASH and DRUM at checkout for $20 off your first box. That's right, 20 bucks off your first box. Now go get some of these fun cocktails. This thing is, this is the bee's knees right here. Cheers, guys. All right, so Weller is a weeded bourbon originally created by the Stitzel Weller Distilling Company. The brand is named after William LaRue Weller, a distillery who is credited by some as being the first to use wheat as the secondary grain in straight bourbon as opposed to the more commonly used rye. Weller 107 is an NAS. It comes in at 107 proof, set to be six to eight years old though, retails for about 50 bucks. The Challenger is the Old Elk Double Wheat, part of the Old Elk Masters Blend Series. This is a unique blend of straight wheat whiskey and straight wheated bourbon, NAS, but also said to be six to eight years old, retails for about 100 bucks and 107.1, so it's got 0.1 proof on the Weller Antique. By marrying traditional favorites, award-winning bourbons and whiskeys, and a bold sense of adventure, we have created two exquisite, unique whiskeys that I am personally very excited to share with the world, says Greg Metz, the legendary master distiller. Double wheat blend, straight wheat whiskey with straight wheated bourbon. Two expressions distilled by Metz specifically for Old Elk and Ross and Squibb, formerly known as MGP. Good old Ross and Squibb. All right, so when I said two exquisite whiskeys, uh, that was the Old Elk Double Wheat, and also Old Elk came out in the, uh, the, that blending series with the uh, Four Grain as well. Um, we're just gonna go with the uh, Double Wheat today. Again, 107.1 proof. Will that .1 make a difference? Let's do this. All right, guys, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna mix this up. We're gonna go through nose, palate, and finish. I'm not gonna do any edits or cuts. We're just gonna go straight through, so if you hear me burp, fart, whatever may happen, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> All right, flip these over one more time. All right, let's go to the noses on both of these first. This is a really nice sweet nose, a little bit floral. A slight hint of cherry here. Ooh. Man, toffee as well. All right, let's go to this one here. Glass B, we'll call. This was glass A. This is glass B. Ooh, this one I'm getting even, like, more cherry, I think. I don't know. The, both of these, I'm getting cherry on both. Mm. Yeah, this one's coming off very floral. 
Very sweet. There's almost like a grapiness in this one that's really interesting. Hmm. I don't know which nose I like better. This one is definitely, glass A is more wheat forward. You get a lot more of that, that wheaty grain to it. But B, he's got a lot, I think just some more going on. There's more sweetness to it, there's more flavor. I'm gonna have to give the nose to B, I think. All right, so B gets the nose. If you're keeping track at home, let's taste these things. Glass A first. Ooh, glass A. Ooh. Oh, the finish is magical in glass A. Glass A actually gives you the, it's very wheat forward up front. You get a lot of the wheat grain. It's a little bit on the fruity side. I'm getting, I'm picking up like a lot of like, like fresh apple, apple peel on the front of A. And then as it works its way back, it just goes into straight vanilla, uh, vanilla extract. A little bit of toffee too. Good spice on the palate as well. It's got a nice spice to it. Remember that Old Elk is 0.1 more than the Weller. So will that, will that make the difference? We'll see. I'm actually looking at the color of these. It looks like, actually looks like glass B is slightly darker than A. So let's go to B. Hmm. Wow, it's actually really different. Glass B is coming off a little bit more floral. Again, I'm getting like a grapey cherry thing going on in the palate. A little bit of spice. Actually a good amount of spice in the back end of that, which is surprising. Hmm. I know there's something like funky about that one coming off of A. Do I like A or B better? Hmm. I think A is coming off a little too wheat forward. The magic is kind of in the back end of the pal in that one. I think the overall flavors of B is what I like more. Sitting here thinking, I'm probably gonna have to go with B here. I think B on the palate wins for me. So B is kind of dominating, which means it really can't win because all that's left is, is finish. And the only finish, I mean, even if A wins finish, it's still not gonna take out B. So, well, let's just judge finish anyway. Because I actually think A wins on the finish. On the finish, A has a little bit more spice. It's all vanilla extract and toffee. It's the front of the palette on A that's lacking a little bit for me. All right, let's go to B a little bit. Yeah, I like the finish on A better. So nose and palette go to B, which makes it the winner. However, A does win the finish. I think. I think A has a better finish. So I'm trying to think what the hell could be what here. Um, they both had a little bit of, usually when I, I taste cherry or, or something along those lines, I'm thinking Buffalo Trace immediately, but they both kind of had that. I don't remember there being so much toffee and vanilla extract on the back end of 107 Antique. So maybe, I don't know, let's see. So the winner is B. Just uh, falling short is A here. Uh, so A is the Old Elk Double Wheat, which means Weller Antique. Just based on nose and palate, wins the matchup. So Weller Antique 107 coming in, winning the matchup. Um, I gotta say though, the Old Elk Double Wheat wasn't that far behind. Um, I do think you just get a little bit. Now remember, this is a blend of wheat whiskey and wheated bourbon, while the uh, Weller is just a straight up wheated bourbon. So maybe the wheat whiskey in the double, uh, the double wheat from Old Elk 
maybe gave it a little bit more of that um, that weediness that I was tasting. That was that I was getting like that grain on the front of the palate that just wasn't as flavorful as the uh, the Weller. So hell of a matchup. Um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Weller Antique coming out on top in this double base. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Double Base. We put Weller Antique 107 versus the Old Elk Double Wheat. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button below. Please hit the like button. If you have yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've done this head-to-head uh, -head yourself. If you have any suggestions for any more Double Base episodes, please put them down below in the comments. And as I always say, it's not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So, what we're gonna do, we're just gonna go with the Old Weller. The Old Weller, the Old Weller Double Wheat Blend. Old Weller Double Wheat Blend, okay. Old Weller Double Wheat. I didn't think that was gonna be good, and you know what? It's not. Don't do that. See you next time on the Matching Drum.